Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here to talk to you today in our latest video, which we're going to be talking about the upcoming matches for September 19th, 20th, and 21st in the English Premier League. And that is match day two, as we all know, the league starting about a month later than it normally would have um, due to the various uh, issues with the coronavirus pandemic. Now, as you can hear uh, from my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather here. Uh, nothing to worry about, no big deal, just a bit of a head cold. But uh, this video is coming a little bit late this week compared to what I would have normally done and what I wanted to do, uh, putting it out earlier this week. So a little bit behind uh, due to being a little bit under the weather. But now we're here and we've got some picks to give you as we go into match day two this weekend in the Premier League. And specifically, I'm going to talk about uh, the second day of match day two, which is going to be Sunday the 20th. Now, we're going to have a lot of great matches coming up this weekend and is going to be headlined by that game or by the game on this uh, Sunday between Liverpool and Chelsea. And as we all know, Liverpool won the title last year in the Premier League and they go to Stamford Bridge to play Chelsea this weekend against a team that has spent over £200 million in the offseason to bring in new players to challenge for a Premier League title. So that's going to be a huge game and it will most likely have title implications as we go on throughout the season. Now, of course, you can always go to the Z Code System blog and you can get up to date on the various things that we post there. Uh, all the different blogs I've posted already this week are usual uh, match day two pre uh, preview and picks. So you can go and check that out as well as you can see the different contests we have there. The Zwins continue and uh, you can get up to date on everything you need. And of course, sign up to the VIP club where you can get picks uh, every week for various sports, whatever sports that you're betting on. I'm sure if you're betting on NHL right now, you're going to love to go over there for the Stanley Cup finals, which are coming up between the Dallas Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning, as well as you can get the baseball picks, the NBA picks, whatever it is that you follow, you can get those there. So be sure to check that out. Now, let's take a look at some picks for this weekend with the English Premier League match day two. And specifically, I'm going to use the Soccer Buddy tool this week to show you uh, just how that works and how you can use it for your picks on the Premier League and your betting. Uh, before we do that, let's take a quick look at um, another website that I use quite often. It's understat.com. And just to take a look at the fixtures that are coming up this weekend, as well as the current table in the Premier League. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the Understat website uh, brought up here, and you can see there are going to be four games on Saturday the 19th, and then we're going to follow that up with four more on Sunday, and then two are going to be taking place on Monday. Now, one of those great games on Monday that you definitely don't want to miss is Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Manchester City uh, in a big game at Molyneux. So definitely one to keep an eye on there. But we're going to take a look mostly here at these four games that are going on on Sunday the 20th. Now, again, like I said, some big games going on this weekend uh, and some very exciting things happening. And I think, and I've said this before uh, in other places, in other blogs, that I believe that this year's Premier League is going to be uh, a little bit chaotic. I think a lot of the leagues, the big leagues around Europe, are going to see a little bit of chaos because of the pandemic and uh, the spending and the way that the last season ended and the new season began. So I think that there's going to be a lot of shakeup. Now, could this mean that an unlikely team wins the Premier League? Perhaps, perhaps. I don't think it's going to be something like a Leicester City like they did uh, back in 2015-16, but I think we could see perhaps Liverpool falling off and maybe even Manchester City falling off uh, and another team um, maybe pipping them to the title. Uh, I really like what Arsenal has did, uh, what they did in the offseason and what they're continuing to do is the transfer window continues to stay open until October the 5th. Um, I think they've done really, really well. And I think this is a very exciting team uh, under Mikel Arteta. Um, they've already won the FA Cup and the Community Shield to kick off this season. Uh, and Arteta's only been in the job for six months. He took over halfway through last season. So that's definitely a team that you should watch out for. And I think that they're going to have some big gains this year. They missed out on the Champions League last season. Uh, they're in the Europa League thanks to winning the FA Cup. But I think this is going to be a team that really fights whoops, for a top four. 
um, ahead of team that you might see uh, fighting for a title uh, at some point this season. And as you can see, I accidentally clicked there on Arsenal, uh, but I'm going to go back here to uh, the fixtures for this weekend. And I also think that, you know, talking about teams that have a fall off, uh, I think we could see Manchester United having a fall off this season. They've done very little in the transfer window to uh, improve the weak areas that they had. Of course, the window is still open for another month. Uh, but again, I think that we could see a fall off there at Manchester City, especially with Chelsea and Arsenal getting stronger this offseason. And I still have question marks around the manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Um, so they do have a test there against Crystal Palace this weekend on Saturday. Crystal Palace go in uh, having won on opening day. Uh, although Manchester United didn't play uh, to start the season, they had an extra week off. They should uh, do pretty well against Crystal Palace because Crystal Palace are not a very good scoring team. Now, just before we look at some uh, the Soccer Buddy tool, uh, just to look at last weekend's um, matches and to see where these teams fit. Uh, and you can see the teams that all claimed victories right there. Uh, down to eighth place, Crystal Palace. Those teams all picking up wins. And this website, like I say before, understatis.com is a website I use for a lot of the writing that I do um, because I love to look at the expected goals and expected points uh, totals. And you can see there all the teams in green who have exceeded those uh, marks uh, from match day one. So definitely a tool to definitely use. Now, let's take a look at the Z Code System Soccer Buddy tool as we do some picks and predictions for this weekend. Okay, so as you can see right here in front of us, we have the Soccer Buddy tool, and you can just find this uh, through the VIP. Just go to the different bonus tools that we have, and you can search for this and, and find it right there on the drop down menu. Uh, this is a great tool to use, and it gives us an idea of uh, what we can think or what we can look into for the games, the predictions uh, for the games coming up with the idea of. Uh, over under goals as well as second half goals scored over under and both teams to score so this is a great tool to use and you can always uh, use the vip uh, soccer buddy tool uh, video uh, to learn more about how it works uh, when you use the uh, use this for the games that you are betting on now as you can see you can change your date to pick the games that you want as well as you can change the league so uh, of course we're using the premier league so I'm just going to use my drop down menu because as you can see, if we have all leagues, we're going to have a lot of games going on. So just give me one second to search out the Premier League. And as you can see, we've got the drop down menu and we're going to just find the Premier League and scroll. But you can see the power of this tool because we have all of these leagues uh, that we can have picks, predictions for. Um, that you can wager on. So if you're just looking for uh, a couple of games to wager on on, say, a Wednesday evening, uh, you'll be able to find a league that is playing. Now, we're going to just scroll down and take a look at these games uh, for, and that gives us actually our games for the 19th. So I'm just going to pick the games for the 20th. All right, so there are our games for the 20th. So we're going to start out with this game here, and I'm going to give you all of these right here on the screen to take a look at. Uh, but we're going to talk about that Brighton versus Newcastle game to start out with. And Newcastle go into this first or to this match day two having won 2 0 against West Ham on match day one. Goals from new players, new signings, Callum Wilson and Jeff Hendricks. And they take on Brighton, who lost to Chelsea on opening day. They lost 3-1, and of course, it was always likely that Brighton were going to lose to Chelsea on opening day, uh, which they did in the end. Now, they did put up a bit of a fight, uh, drawing level at 1-1 just after half time, but the defense just let them down in the end, allowing Newcastle to win, or excuse me, allowing Chelsea to win that game 3-1. I really like what Newcastle has done in this offseason. Uh, they weren't the... Uh, best team last year. They they fought relegation for much of the season. They changed managers prior to that campaign with Steve Bruce coming in, and there wasn't much money going around. The team was expected to be taken over by a conglomerate uh, led by the Saudi Arabian royal family uh, over the summer. That fell through, and the club has been kind of in limbo. Uh, they have signed some really um, 
good players, not great eye-catching names like Callum Wilson or Ryan Fraser, but players that should really improve this team. And I really like what they've done. Brighton are not uh, a great scoring team. Uh, they showed some defensive weaknesses last week. And we all know that Newcastle is a very good defensive team when they play at home. Now, we have a score prediction, uh, total prediction draw, uh, excuse me, a total score prediction of one to one, which is a very good uh, prediction. I like that. But I also think that Newcastle can overcome that and uh, pick up a win uh, in this game. I think they're a really good team. So I'm picking a Newcastle win or draw in this game. And I'm not really sure about that, both teams to score. Now, of course, this is our uh, soccer buddy tool, which uses a lot of data, uh, thousands of data points uh, to make these predictions. So I'm going merely on my uh, my prediction of watching these games and making my predictions. So um, I do like Newcastle to pick up points in this, a win or a draw. Um, and I think, in my opinion, I think they could get a clean sheet. But don't be surprised if Brighton does sneak a goal and both teams score. So we do have that. Now, moving on to the big game on Sunday, Liverpool taking on Chelsea. And I love the score prediction right here, 2-1, both teams scoring over 2.5 goals. Last season, Liverpool went to Chelsea and they claimed a 2-1 win at Stamford Bridge uh, in a very uh, close game in the end uh, that Liverpool scored twice uh, scored twice in the first half through Roberto Firmino and Trent alex oxlade excuse me, by uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, so Liverpool were able to pick up a 2-1 win, two goals in the first half. They played uh, the reverse fixture at Liverpool. Liverpool picked up a 5-3 win in a very wide open game. Now, Liverpool did win on opening day. They defeated the Leeds United in a 4-3 game. That was an insane match that Liverpool looked like they were going to throw away in the end. They got a late penalty. Mohamed Salah scored it, and they went on to win that game. Leeds pushed them the whole way, and I expect Chelsea to push Liverpool the whole way. This is going to be a very close, narrow game between these two teams. If it ends in a draw, I won't be surprised because Chelsea have put a lot of money into this the, to their squad this year to improve that team. Problem is, Chelsea haven't addressed really the defensive issues that they had and their goalkeeping issues that they had. Uh, they put a lot of money into that attack, and I think in the end that could be their downfall uh, if they don't win the league, and it could be their downfall on Sunday. Liverpool this week splurging. Um, it was said that they weren't going to be spending much money this season. Suddenly they've spent over £50 million pounds on two players. Uh, they bought Thiago, who just won the Champions League with Bayern Munich, and he is going to be a very exciting player in that midfield uh, and should improve Liverpool's ability of moving the ball from back to front. They've also signed an exciting forward from Wolverhampton Wanderers, Diago Jota. He is unlikely to play at the weekend. Thiago is going to be available. Uh, they got that transfer through in time. I don't think Jota will be available until the next week. Uh, but Liverpool really improving, which, again, like I said, is a surprise because all the stories were they weren't going to be spending much money this year, and this offseason, uh, but they now have. And as if you follow the Premier League and you follow Major League Baseball, you'll know that the Boston Red Sox owners – Fenway Sports Group, they also own Chelsea. And we did see last January uh, when the Red Sox had a, a big salary dump, Mookie Betts and David Price leaving. And a lot of that um, financial, uh, you know, the financial moves that they made there with the Red Sox, it kind of felt like it was going to move over into Liverpool as well. Suddenly, though, the owners have put some money in and Liverpool have bought heavily. And I think they were influenced by what Chelsea has done. Now Chelsea will, um, uh, Chelsea influencing what Liverpool have done in the transfer market. And uh, I think this is going to be a great game uh, with Liverpool just shading it in the end. And I like that 2-1 scoreline. Now moving on, as you can see the soccer buddy tool here, we've got Tottenham taking on Southampton. This is a tricky game for Tottenham because they have not won at Southampton. I believe if I can remember correctly in their last three uh, trips there. Uh, last season, these teams played four times, and both times Tottenham went to St. Mary's Stadium. They were unable to win. Uh, they lost in the league, and they drew in the FA Cup at St. Mary's Stadium. So don't be shocked if, St if Southampton do get points from this game. Southampton did not start the week uh, season well. They lost last week to Crystal Palace. They had plenty of chances, but just couldn't put them away. Tottenham also lost on opening day. They uh, lost to Everton at home thanks to a late 
uh, set piece goal from Everton. Uh, Tottenham also played in midweek. They went away to Lokomotiv Plodiv in in Bulgaria for the Europa League, and they nearly uh, lost that game as well. Uh, they needed two goals in the last 10 minutes to overturn a 1-0 deficit uh, to progress in the tournament. So this isn't a Tottenham team that is very uh, is showing a lot of strengths right now. There's a lot of issues with this team that I think goes very deep, and a lot of it has to do with manager Jose Mourinho. He's been in the job for almost a year after taking over from Maurizio Pochettino, and he's really chopped and changed things and just absolutely taken Tottenham into a 180-degree uh, different direction than where they were under Pochettino uh, with their tactics, with their player uh, selection, uh, with the player recruitment. Uh, big news this week was Tottenham re-signing Gareth Bale from Real Madrid. Now, if you remember, Gareth Bale was a star. He rose to prominence with Tottenham Hotspur before going off to Real Madrid. Lots of people are claiming this to be such a big move, and he's going to be able, Bale, that is, is going to be able to rekindle uh, his best moments uh, now back at Tottenham. And I really disagree with a lot of this. Um, he's not really played a lot over the last season, two seasons at Real Madrid. He was uh, on the fringes there. He is older. I believe he's 31. He's got a terrible track record for injuries. And I just think that this is going to be um, a, a bit of a failure. I think he's going to have some moments where he really shows that old form that we've seen before. But I think in the end, it's going to be a bit of a uh, poor decision on Spurs. And there was a, re- a story uh, over the week that before Mourinho got to Tottenham, when Mauricio, Mauricio Pochettino was the coach, that you would have never seen uh, Bale signed again by Spurs because he just wouldn't fit into things. And I don't think he really fits into things uh, right now at Tottenham. And I don't think Mourinho's tactics uh, help this team at all. Um, 2-1 scoreline there to Tottenham. I do think Tottenham can get points in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if Southampton claimed yet another draw against Tottenham at home. But we did see last weekend that uh, Southampton just weren't great in attack. And to make things worse, Tottenham are linked with Spurs. uh, Sorry, Tottenham are linked with Southampton's leading scorer from last season, Danny Ings. uh, And that is likely to unsettle him for this weekend uh, unless he wants to put in a big performance uh, for a team that is tracking him right now. So I think Spurs will get a win or a draw <clears throat> in this game, and they will get their first points of the Premier League season. Now, as you can see there, Leicester City will be taking on Burnley at the weekend as well. Uh, we've got our prediction there from the Soccer Buddy tool. And you know what? I like this I like this prediction. I like Leicester City to pick up the win in this game. 1-0. Uh, Burnley do play a really good defense. Um, This will be at the King Power Stadium, Leicester's home. Leicester City did take until the second uh, second half last week to score. They ended up getting three goals against a very poor West Brom team uh, in the second half. Uh, Two of those goals came from penalties. So I think Leicester City will pick up a win here. I think they're going to be strong for the first half of the season, just like last year. They're going to be strong for that first half of the season before uh, falling off in the uh, second part of the year. Um, But again, I think they're going to pick up a win here on match day two. So guys, those are our picks this week. Those are my picks this week. And I've hopefully given you some knowledge going into making your bets for the 20th of September. That's Sunday's games in the Premier League on match day two. I've given you four games there. You can go over to the blog, uh, read some more that we have uh, posted up there. And of course you can go to the VIP and you can go to the Soccer Buddy tool to find the score predictions and the picks for the games on Saturday, uh, the games on Saturday, the 19th, as well as the games on Monday, the 21st. Now we've got a lot of football coming up, not just the Premier League, but the Champions League. Uh, qualifying rounds are still going on. The Europa League qualifying rounds are still going on. And we're going to be coming up on in October, I believe it is, the group stages of those tournaments. So a lot of football is coming up. And because of the pandemic and the leagues all starting late, everything's going to be crammed in there for an unbelievable year of sports. So guys, good luck this weekend with your betting. Thanks for watching the Z Code system. And as always, if you're just browsing through, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you're coming back again, please like the video and comment. Let us know what you think. And we will see you next time here at Z Code system.